Hey everybody, welcome back to the Elon Musk podcast. This is a show where we discuss the critical crossroads that shape SpaceX, Tesla, X, The Boring Company, and Neuralink. I'm your host, Will Walden. Elon Musk's SpaceX has successfully launched its Starlink satellite internet service in Indonesia, aiming to provide high-speed internet access across the world's largest archipelago. This initiative is expected to address the connectivity issues in remote and underserved regions, significantly improving communication and access to information. The launch event, which was held in Bali, highlighted the potential impact of Starlink on various sectors such as health, education, and maritime activities. And Indonesia's communication and informatics minister emphasized that local internet providers face challenges in reaching the outer islands due to limited coverage. But Starlink's low orbit satellites promise to overcome these barriers and offer nationwide coverage. The health minister noted that approximately 2,700 of the over 10,000 clinics in Indonesia still lack internet access. He stated, the internet can open up better access to health services as communication between regions is said to be easier so that reporting from health service facilities can be done in real time. Now, during Elon Musk's visit, uh, he also participated in the 10th World Water Forum, addressing global water and sanitation challenges. This aligns with Indonesia's broader goals under the president, which aims to position the country among the top five global economies with a GDP of up to $9 trillion by 2045. Now, the Starlink launch comes at a time when other tech giants are also eyeing investments in Indonesia. For example, Elon Musk's uh, kind of rival over here, Apple CEO Tim Cook, recently met with the president indicating potential manufacturing prospects in the country. Similarly, Microsoft announced a $1.7 billion investment in cloud and artificial intelligence infrastructure in Indonesia. Now, Starlink's development involves a constellation of satellites in low Earth orbit, which can deliver high-speed internet to even the most remote locations. The technology is seen as a game changer for countries with challenging geographies, providing reliable internet where traditional methods have failed. The Indonesian government has been proactive in fostering a digital technology environment, and the launch of Starlink is expected to accelerate the country's digital transformation, benefiting various sectors and promoting economic growth. And Musk's involvement in Indonesia's technological advancements shows the growing importance of satellite internet services in bridging the digital divide. The successful implementation of Starlink could serve as a model for other countries facing similar connectivity challenges. And with over 17,000 islands, Indonesia presents a unique case for the application of satellite technology. The vast and diverse geography has historically hindered the development of a robust internet infrastructure, but Starlink satellites can provide a viable solution. The health sector stands to gain significantly from improved connectivity. Real-time data transmission can enhance patient care, streamline administrative processes, and enable better resource allocation. And the integration of digital tools in healthcare could also facilitate telemedicine, making specialist services more accessible. In education, Starlink's internet service can transform learning environments, particularly in rural and remote areas. Students and teachers can access a wealth of online resources, participate in virtual classrooms, and engage with educational content from around the world. And the maritime industry, crucial to Indonesia's economy, can also benefit from enhanced communication networks. Better internet access can improve navigation, safety, and operational efficiency for fishing and shipping activities. And Musk's vision for global connectivity through Starlink aligns with Indonesia's aspirations to become a technologically advanced nation. The collaboration between SpaceX and the Indonesian government demonstrates a shared commitment to leveraging technology for socioeconomic development. The launch event in Bali was attended by key government officials and industry leaders, reflecting the significance of this milestone. It also marked Musk's first in-person visit to Indonesia, highlighting the strategic importance of the country and SpaceX's global expansion plans. Now, as Starlink continues to deploy more satellites, the network's capacity and coverage will expand, offering faster and more reliable internet services. This ongoing development is crucial for maintaining the momentum of Indonesia's digital transformation. The success of Starlink in Indonesia could pave the way for similar initiatives in other countries with challenging geographies. 
the scalable nature of satellite internet makes it an attractive option for improving global connectivity. And the collaboration between SpaceX and Indonesia sets a precedent for public-private partnerships in advancing technological solutions. Such alliances are essential for addressing complex challenges and achieving sustainable development goals. And the launch of Starlink in Indonesia is a significant step towards bridging the digital divide and promoting inclusive growth. By providing high-speed internet access to remote and underserved areas, Starlink is poised to transform various sectors and contribute to the country's overall development. During Tesla's quarter one earnings call, CEO Elon Musk revealed several strategic moves and updates that promised to reshape the EV market. Among the highlights were the accelerated timeline for new, more affordable models, ongoing talks with a major automaker for licensing Tesla's self-driving technology, and insights into the upcoming robo-taxi service. Now, Tesla's new product roadmap includes the information and the introduction of more affordable EV models set to been uh, produced in 2025 or even in late 2024. It's a significant acceleration from the previous announced timeline, reflecting Tesla's commitment to expanding its market reach and making EVs more accessible. The new models will utilize Tesla's next generation platform and existing technology, aiming to reduce production costs while maintaining high performance standards. Musk had initially mentioned the prospect of a $25,000 Tesla car in 2018, and this accelerated timeline brings that vision closer to reality. On the earnings call, Musk also addressed Tesla's discussions with a major automaker about licensing its full self-driving technology. This move could create a new revenue system for Tesla and potentially accelerate the adoption of autonomous driving technology across the industry. Musk stated, there's a good chance that Tesla will sign a licensing agreement this year. However, he noted that it would take at least three years for the technology to be fully integrated into the partner automaker's vehicles. The potential licensing deal highlights a strategy from Tesla to leverage its technological advancements to enhance its financial stability. And by partnering with legacy automakers, Tesla can monetize its FSD technology while promoting broader industry adoption. Another key announcement was the launch of Tesla's robo-taxi service, branded as CyberCab, scheduled for August of 2024. Musk described the service as a combination of Uber and Airbnb, where Tesla will operate a fleet of self-driving cars, and private owners can also offer their vehicles for hire and make money on the side. Now, the robotaxi service is part of Tesla's broader vision to create a fully autonomous transportation network. The initiative not only aims to revolutionize urban mobility, but also to generate substantial revenue through ride-hailing services and vehicle leasing. A Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus, also featured prominently in the earnings call. Optimus is expected to begin performing simple factory tasks at Tesla by the end of 2024, with future applications extending to various industries, including logistics and healthcare. Musk emphasized that Optimus could play a crucial role in addressing labor shortages and enhancing productivity. The robot's development aligns with Tesla's long-term goal of integrating advanced robotics and AI into its operations and product offerings. And despite the positive announcements, Tesla's Q1 earnings fell short of analysts' expectations, causing initial investor concerns. However, the company's strategic updates and future prospects led to a rebound in the stock price, which rose 13.3% in after-hours trading. Now, Tesla shares had experienced a significant decline since the start of the year, losing 42% of their value. And the recent earnings call and subsequent stock recovery indicate renewed investor confidence in Tesla's growth trajectory. The accelerated product roadmap and strategic partnerships underscore Tesla's commitment to maintaining its leadership in the EV industry. And by introducing more affordable models and exploring new business adventures, Tesla aims to solidify its position and increase competition. Now, the potential licensing of FSD marks a significant shift in Tesla's business strategy. By collaborating with traditional automakers, Tesla can expand its influence and accelerate the transition to autonomous driving. And the robotaxi service represents a bold step towards realizing Musk's vision of a fully autonomous transportation network. If successful, it could revolutionize urban mobility and create new revenue streams for Tesla and also Tesla drivers. Tesla's focus on advanced robotics with Optimus showcases the company's commitment to innovation and technological leadership. 
the development of humanoid robots for industry applications could redefine labor dynamics and productivity and fill spots that were once done by humans. And the combination of these new products, strategic partnerships and technological advancements, positions Tesla for continued growth and market disruption. The company's ability to innovate and adapt remains a key driver of its success. And the Q1 earnings Tesla call provided significant insights into the company's future direction. The accelerated product roadmap, potential FSD licensing, the robo taxi, and it's a highlight of Tesla's strategic initiatives to maintain its competitive edge and drive long-term growth. Hey, thank you so much for listening today. I really do appreciate your support. If you could take a second and hit this subscribe or the follow button on whatever podcast platform that you're listening on right now, I greatly appreciate it. It helps out the show tremendously and you'll never miss an episode. And each episode is about 10 minutes or less to get you caught up quickly. And please, if you want to support the show even more, go to patreon.com slash stage zero. And please take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you tomorrow.